So today's project is going to be a very difficult and personal one for me. Unfortunately, we recently lost our dog, Circa. He really meant the world to me and my wife, so I wanted to dedicate my 100th video on this channel to him and celebrate his life with this memorial project. After his passing, we had a local company come and make some plaster castings of his paws. And what I'd like to do is turn these prints into some simple necklace charms. Now, there's a lot of different ways that I could do this, but in order to capture the most detail, I'm going to try using a 3D scanning app on my phone called Polycam. This app uses a technique called photogrammetry, where several images of an object can be taken in order to recreate it in 3D space. And I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can find this app, but just know that it is a subscription-based app, so you will have to pay in order to download your models. So after setting up the print in an area with relatively even lighting, I then opened the app and started a new capture. I then went around the print and tried to get photos from all angles to help make the model as accurate as possible. And once I'm done, I can just select the level of detail that I want the model to render at. And for this, I'm going to use full and just upload my photos for processing. And once it's done processing, you can then see your 3D scan in the display. And the scan looks pretty good, so I'm just going to export the model as an OBJ file to clean it up. And after importing the model into Blender, you can see the level of detail that we actually got from this scan. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the scan. It's not really as detailed as I would have liked, but it's really not too bad considering this was taken just using my phone. So now I'm just going to clean this model up a bit and use it to make a necklace charm. So the main thing that I wanted to do with this 3D scan was to transfer this paw print to a much cleaner 3D model of a necklace charm. And to do this, basically my steps were to increase the scale to make it thicker, trim away the top to get a clean edge on each of the paw pads, use a mask to then extract the shape of those paw pads, and fill in the mesh of each pad to make them all solid objects. Then I could just 3D model a new necklace charm in whatever size and shape that I want, and use those new models to cut away the shape of the paw into the new charm using a boolean modifier. Now I can just attach a few pre-designed bales that I have and prep the models for printing. And I decided to print several charms at larger and smaller sizes than the original, just to see which size looked best. And I'm going to print these models using some Soraya Tech Purple Cast Resin and my Allegu Mars 3D printer. And here are the printer settings that I'm going to be using for the lychee slicing software. Thank you. 
And after just about a four hour print, I then cleaned off the charms using some isopropyl alcohol and started removing the supports. Then, after curing the charms, I wanted to remove some of these layer lines on the surface that were left over during printing. So to smooth them out, I just used a bit of sandpaper. And at first, I didn't think the smaller charms were really going to turn out all that well, so I didn't bother printing them with a bale attached. But I actually really like how they turned out after printing, so I decided to just add a simple bale by melting a small ring of 1mm round wax onto the top of the charm. Then, after sprueing the pieces, I then cast them in sterling silver using the same lost resin casting techniques as I've shown in some previous videos. We had Circa for almost 10 years, and he was just a non-stop source of joy in our house. And if you're a longtime viewer on this channel, you've probably even seen him in the background or featured in some of my videos. He was rescued by some amazing friends of ours who work at a local rescue called I Heart Dogs. They do some absolutely incredible work with rescuing, rehabilitating, and rehoming some pets that are in need. They're a nonprofit and are constantly in need of supplies and help with rescuing and caring for these animals. So if you can, please donate to their cause and help save some lives. <laughs> 